guys, it's Laura Lily, and I'm back for another episode of Attack on Titan Season 2. Last episode was kind of a big one. Um, probably the most subtle um, information drop I've ever seen. It was like, I, I went on about it after I watched the last episode, but like that was one of the most well-executed, constructed scenes in a show that I've ever seen in order to make that big of a revelation. It was amazing, but I'm, I'm very confused still. I don't know anything that's going on, but it kind of, I kind of feel better knowing that I'm almost caught up to where everyone else, or at least anime watchers, are at in uh, Attack on Titan confusion. <laughs> uh, because I've only got uh, six episodes left and I'll be caught up and ready for season three which I'm I probably won't be reacting to as it comes out I'm gonna say that now um, I'm trying to mix up my schedule a little bit so I'm not watching because a lot of the shows that I'm watching right now uh, they're either very long or they have sequel shows or it's just I don't want to be watching the same bracket for the next year or so so I'm going to be mixing things up. I think I'm going to pause after Attack on Titan Season 2. I'm going to watch another show, a shorter show, that's been requested. And then I will pick up with Attack on Titan Season 3 after I finish that reaction series. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. It's something I'm thinking about doing with uh, a few shows um, after I finish like the first seasons of them. So uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Attack on Titan. Uh, Aaron is currently being kidnapped by... Rhino and Bertold. So, uh, yeah, we're about to have another Titan on Titan on Titan fight, which I really think is a stupid idea because even if Rhino wasn't an armored Titan, uh, Bertold's kind of big. They don't call him the Colossal Titan for nothing. So, anyway, let's get into this. You saw what those monsters are capable of, and you still want to take them on? I know you've got what it takes. I can see it in you. Am I wrong here? I saw someone in the comments say that Aaron was stupid for crying for them, but I gotta say that's one of the few times I really sympathize with Aaron and appreciate a bit more of the humanity of himself coming through and not as much of the, you know, ah, ghastly titan part of him. What's wrong with me? Why didn't I slice their goddamn heads off? That was the perfect chance. Why did I hesitate? Because they were your friends. the other one? No, this isn't happening. I understand grabbing Amir and they had grabbed Aaron too, but who was the other person that they grabbed? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he's got more tricks up his sleeve than just that. Because his sight is a good disadvantage. The last time he disappeared, it was more or less instantaneous. He's maintaining his form to emit heat. I think he's protecting himself. Yeah? I want you to forget about taking them alive. Destroy them. No second thoughts. 
You're with me. Right, squad one, look alive. I get what she means, though. Answers are all well and good, but this is what destroyed the world in the first place. What about Rhyna and Bertolt? They're screwed. Neither one of them has their ODM gear. Oh, they don't know. They don't know. How do they not know? I guess not all of them saw what happened. Times where I'm not a fan of Aaron's voice acting. He's armored! Armored Titan. It's in the name. Sold, I think she made about to fight? This is How did that play out? And why is it coming to me now? Is this is this my life flashing before my eyes? Or it's your subconscious so saying, hey, this might work in this situation. It's not like oh, no. She's blind to my right. Yep. Oh, yep. Using the stuff that they taught him to defeat them. Oof! Just ripped his arm off! Arm, come on, they're not just gonna let us leave. Yeah, no. Miraculously, they're not gonna let Aaron leave. Estimated no, Aaron the first time, he's not gonna do it again. Way back in the olden days. 
They had to leave certain sections uncovered for freedom of movement, though. Like the armpits and groin. Or the spot behind the knee. Yep. I can't dodge this. nervous about how this is going to play out. I feel like there's still something we're not expecting. that they could communicate with the Titans. That's what Annie did. No visual on incoming Titans yet. Uh, I don't like this. There had to be some reason for that scream. Something. No, 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 no! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that just happened. Yeah, um the the directing decisions on the dub for this episode rather questionable. I feel like they didn't need to put Aaron's voice actor through that many filters to make him sound titanish because it just came out garbled and grating. But I appreciate what he did in this episode. What Aaron did. Like, as soon as they went into that flashback, I knew exactly what he was gonna do, because... That's what he's done before. Flashback to how Annie's fought while he was fighting her, and so... I really like the line he said. He was like, if, if you really wanted, uh... To beat me, you shouldn't have taught me how to kick your ass. And <laughs> it's true, because he's, he's using everything that they taught him against them. Um, but the thing is that I feel like they're still... Because from whatever their backgrounds were, um, they clearly were trained long before they entered the scout regiment. So I feel like they still got some... A bit more skill than Aaron does. And Aaron outsmarted Rhino the first time. He wasn't going to let that happen again. And, um, yeah, I noticed he was moving them across the ground and he stopped and Aaron was like, why here? I'm like, oh, Berthold's right there. And then he started screaming and they're like, oh, are there other Titans coming? Nope, it's Berthold right there. Also Titan. So, uh, this is going to be interesting in whatever way it plays out. I don't know how it's going to play out because um, Aaron looked like he was about to have a gigantic titan skull clamped down on him. So this show is known for like taking what happens at the end of one episode and subverting it a little bit, but I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Great episode. I am concerned. I'm also concerned that no one else seems to know that that's Rhina and Berthold. Because Connie didn't know. But I think that uh, Armin, Mikasa, maybe Hanji? That they know. 
Um, but yikes. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, as usual, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Discord, Patreon, other social media is all in the description. Um, and I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.